All right, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. This is crazy. So I'm at the Byron Center one. How's my uh, McDonald's? And I ordered my stuff. And like I said in the previous video, <clears throat> better check it. Make sure I did get a steak this time. Ugh, it's greasy. So. Oh, it is dripping everywhere, which tells me that it is a steak. And it is a steak. Oh, man. So let me tell you what happened. The earlier video, I wish I could uh, edit these things. I know one of the guys, James Catanese, was trying to show me how to video or, or verbally how to edit videos. And I just don't have any patience. But anyway, um. So they gave me the bagels or the um, the bacon one. So I thought I messed up. Senior moment. Oh well. So uh, I um, but I was eating it, and then I thought, hey, let's check the receipt. What did the receipt say? Steak. So I brought the half-eaten one over there, and I told her, I said, honey, you know, got the wrong one. And then within five minutes, she had a, a steak burger. So here it is. Um, the steak bagel it's greasier than <laughs> yeah and uh here's my half eaten bacon one that is so funny right here so as i was walking out i told the la a, a lady waiting she says i've been waiting for like 10 minutes now and i told her about um she just got her order funny that i sh we shouldn't be upset about these people you know and i kind of tease them a little bit because uh they can't get any help so when they do get help i'm not saying it's the bottom of the barrel but it's the bottom of the barrel so no they're good people they're doing their best and they're getting frustrated like we are so here it is guys check it out i am so happy but they got this back. And so the bagel, of course, there's cheese right here. Egg and the steak. The steak, oh, and cheese on top, too. It's got uh, pieces of onion mixed in with the steak. So according to YouTube, I've, I've watched them uh, make a clone ones of these. What they do is they take a Philly steak, which is a steak that's been through the cuber, and uh, uh, throw on it some uh, sautéed onions. I guess it's called sautéed onions. Then just fold up a, an egg, put two pieces of cheese on it, and save all the grease on the steak. So I'm gonna go ahead and wolf it down. Take one bite, and I'll tell you the uh, my first bite taste test. It also has a type of a dill sauce in there. So the way I, they said it on uh, face or on YouTube, the guys making the clone ones, you mix some uh, dill mustard, a little bit, not much, with mayo, and mix it up, and put a little bit of that on both sides of the bagels, on both bagels, ah, half of the bagels. The second bite, actually the first and second bite, I had a little bit of everything, the bagel, cheese, sauce, onions, steak, and egg. I was expected to be a little bit more greasy. Uh, the bagel itself is kind of hard. Maybe if they buttered it and heated it up first, let the butter get into it. But right now it's kind of like a big chunk of rubber. You can hear it. Hear that? But it is good. If I had to rate it uh, between 
Kenneth Fordman Kenneth, aka Fordman. If I had to rate this between one and two, like you do, this would be a 10. So <laughs> I'm gonna finish it up and uh, talk to you guys later. The, uh, what do they call it? Anyway, the steak, egg and cheese bagel is back. How long? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to be more careful on how I eat this to find out exactly what they did to make it. What type of meat, what type of onions. And uh, that's going to be on my menu for a home breakfast from now on. See you guys. Adios. Hope you guys have a good day. It, like I said, it's a beautiful day here. Yes. Bye.